everyone and welcome to episode three of Can I Do It Better with AC Milan. So things are going reasonably well, although a, uh, a couple of draws recently have just diminished our standing in the Serie A a little bit. Although today you can see if we win, then we will go top again. Um, today we play Genoa, who sit in 13th place. So I'm fully expecting us to get the three points today. And that would hopefully put us back to the top of the ta table. But things are going pretty well, other than we got a couple of recent draws against Torino and Napoli. And also, we got a draw against Dynamo Kiev in the Euro Cup, the Europa League, which was all right in the sense of they're going to be our harder op hardest opposition in our group, I would imagine. So, yeah, um, it's a little disappointing, but not the end of the world. But you can see that things are going pretty well. Um, most players have been able to contribute something in terms of getting some game time here and there. So I think, you know, all in all, I can't ask for too much more. We've still got uh, Strinic, who's out for his medical illness issues till the end of October. And we currently sit at the end of September, so we've still got a few weeks left without him. But other than that, most people are now back to um, full conditioning, but some have got some match sharpness issues because they haven't played as regularly recently. Um, but I think everybody could contribute if they need to. And as you say, other than, as I say, other than Strinic, um, you can see that everybody else has played at least a game for us, which is positive. Relationships are beginning to build in terms of our team structure in this particular 11, which is also really positive. Um, you can see the likes of uh, Biglia. Unfortunately, uh, he and Kessie in central midfield and a couple of our attacking options. They're not quite lighting the place up as much as I'd like them to. Um, but we'll, we'll check that out over the next few games and see if we need to change up any of our style of play. In terms of our style of play, we're playing the vert, uh, vertical tiki-taka. In possession terms, we're playing quite narrow, playing out of defence and using the overlap. Um, we're playing a short style of passing and a low tempo with no time wasting. A bit more expressive on the ball, though, in terms of being able to move it in our little triangles. And then we're trying to work the ball into the box. Although, to be honest, I haven't really seen much of that happening. I do tend to see more long shots than working into the box, maybe. So something to think about as well as we move forward. In terms of in transition play, we regroup and hold shape rather than go charging off around the place. We've got some slightly um, slower players and some slightly older players here and there. So it's worth just kind of keeping their energy levels for when we have the ball a little bit. So we'd slow pace down, we distribute to the centre backs and we take short goal kicks. That's the only other bit to tell you on that. And then out of possession, we have a fairly low defensive line. I don't want to be done over the top too often by pacey strikers that, like we saw when we played Inter Milan recently. Although they didn't take their chances, they still had quite a few of them, which was a little disconcerting. So something that we've tried to stop. And we play a standard uh, line of engagement. As I say, I'm not wanting them to press all over the pitch and lose their energy through it. So the pressing intensity is quite uh, less urgent as well. Um, and yeah, that's the way that we're currently playing, but it can change at any point if I feel that we're struggling in any way. But at the moment, results have been pretty good, so I'm, I'm not too concerned. So yeah, the only one out is Strinich, so that still means that our starting 11 is pretty much what we've seen um, in the last episode as well. It's Donnarumma in goal, Abate at right back, uh, Rodriguez at left back, Caldara and Romag uh, Romagnoli in the centre of defence, Biglia as the deep line playmaker, Kessie as the box-to-box uh, -box midfielder, Kalhanoglu uh, as the attacking midfield central, and Suso on the right, Bo uh, Bonaventura on the left, and Higuain up top. I still struggle to get my tongue around some of these names, to be honest, but yeah, we'll get there. By episode 10 or whatever, just as we're finishing up or something, I'll have them down, I'm sure. But that's the starting 11 for today. Everybody else on the bench is reasonably fit and healthy, which is positive. So let's get into today's game and see what happens. So I assertively suggested that I expect nothing but a win from this match. I think we're more than capable of that. Yes, we're away from home, but Genoa are uh, currently sitting in 13th and we have the potential to go top if we win. So I'm hopeful for a good performance. It didn't quite get the motivated team that I wanted, but there we go. That's just what happens occasionally. So out the two teams come. As I say, we're away from home. So um, we'll see what sort of style of play Genoa have as they come out and um, try and maybe dominate the game a little bit at home. 
Um, but yeah, we'll have to check that out as time goes on. So first opportunity for us is a, a throw in down the left, but we cut it in centrally and uh, play it over around at the back, which is quite nice just to see them um, slowing the pace down, building up the pay, play gently. And then down the right hand side, we get it to our uh, Bate who brings it central again and Kalinoglu onto Bonaventura and he powers the ball home from again distance. As I said to you in the build up, we're supposed to be working the ball into the box, but I see that we have many, many more long shots than that potentially. I don't think we're quite doing um, everything that they suggest that we should be in our build up play in terms of the style of play that we've set, but Bonaventura still nonetheless with a very, very good shot from the edge of the box, wasn't it? And that puts us comfortably one up in under 10 minutes, which is a really encouraging start to the game. So here the opportunity for Genoa to clear their lines, but uh, we win the loose ball in our defensive area and Biglia has the ball and sweeps it out left to Rodriguez, who moves forward into um, an area where nobody was really coming at him and, and they're, oof, they're playing a dangerous game, really. They gave us a lot of space. And again, there's the long shot from the edge of the box. Now, I'm sure some of our players have got good long shots, etc. So as you see, some of our goals come from them, but... It's still not quite the style of play that we set out for them to be using. Um, but his Suso on a really mazy run, straight the way through a couple of um, the players from Genoa in their defensive line, has a shot, but it goes slightly wide. Really good run. But um, you can see that Genoa aren't really putting the foot in, so that um, encourages us, I would hope, to get a few more opportunities. But here they come for it. But there we go, Caldara with a lovely put the foot in, and Bonaventura brings it out um, uh, and... Sends it wide to Suso. Uh, blocked pass from Suso there, but we regain the loose ball. Kessie out wide to Rodriguez. Back to Bonaventura. And centrally, oh, such a good strike again from distance, but we hit the crosswork. Um, crossword. <sighs> crossword. What am I trying to say? Woodwork. That's what I'm trying to say. And again, another really long shot. And it goes sailing over the top there. I don't know what's happened to me today. My teeth aren't in properly, but they're just, you know, I'm not getting my words out at all. But yeah, 20 minutes gone. I'm reasonably happy. Uh, I think that we're playing quite well. We're having decent amounts of possessions in terms of the stats. We've had loads more shots than they are, but only a couple of them have been on target. So that's something that we need to work on. Again, we have another opportunity down the left-hand side with Rodriguez. Cross comes in, but it gets sent back to the edge of the box. And there's another long shot from this time, Kessie. And he powers it into the top right-hand corner of the goal. And the goalkeeper didn't really move, I don't think, for that one. Didn't stand a chance at all. But again, here's the opportunity. We work it left. I guess this is us working it into the box, but it's partly cleared. Comes back out. And then the long shot from Kessie, the goalkeeper dives, but didn't get a, a strong enough hand on it. And it goes into the back of the net. And that's us 2-0 up, which is, again, very encouraging. I'm very happy with that. And our central midfield is playing a little bit better than they have recently. So I'm, I'm encouraged by that too. Rodriguez with the throw in to Kalinoglu onto the edge of the box. And he powers a shot just high and wide slightly. But the goalkeeper was scrambling to cut, uh, come across and get it. So that suggests it was quite close. But that should lead us to half time, and it does. And we're 2 0 up quite comfortable, really, isn't it? Although I would like a couple more of our um, sort of work into the space shots to get on target, really. So we're going to say assertively, um, I'm happy with being, how things are going. Keep it up, lads, just to get them a little bit more engaged and happy with where, where we are currently. And hopefully that will work in the second half to free them up to continue to play the way that they have been. You can see that Rodriguez was a little bit low on his conditioning then. It's down to about 74% already, so that's something to keep an eye on. But here we come again. This time down the right-hand side with uh, Suso, who cuts in and finds Bonaventura on the left. And he powers another shot, left-footed. That's how we work the ball into the box. That was much better in terms of what I was looking for. Um, Kessie with the ball to Suso, who cuts in. Uh, and then finds a lovely pass through to Bonvent Bonaventura, who powers a left-footed shot where the goalkeeper might have thought he was going to go across him. He didn't. He attacked the near post, and that was the gap. And so we find ourselves 3-0 up after 54 minutes of the game, which is really great. Fine, you know, brilliant. I'm very happy with that. So um, we're just going to check out in a minute some of our team. Ooh, what happened there? 
That was a bit fortunate, wasn't it? We're going to check out the team in a second because I noticed a couple of things. There's a couple of complacent players here that aren't playing particularly well. And also Rodriguez is um, definitely losing some of his conditioning. So at this point, we are going to take him off. There's no danger in this game, I wouldn't suggest. We're 3-0 up, for goodness sake. So with 63 minutes gone, I'm going to make these changes and bring on a few fresh players. So Bakayoko can come in for, um, uh, for Biglia. And then up top, Higuain is not playing particularly well at the moment. So we're going to bring Catrone on and let him finish the game off. And I, I don't have any worries about it being quite early to make all those substitutions because we've been playing well and we're 3-0 up and I can't see that they'll be able to get back to us. They might get a goal maybe if they're fortunate enough, but I don't think that's going to get them back into the game at this point. So we might as well not take any chances with some of our team who are not playing well or have got a bit of an issue with conditioning. So that's my thinking behind that, really, is another opportunity to them. They are pushing us in the second half much more than they did in the first, but I think it's just a little bit late for them with about sort of eight minutes, nine minutes to go, plus a couple of added time. But here we come again, back Yoko onto Kessie. Will he go out wide? Suso picks up the ball, but loses out, and Genoa come away with it down their left-hand side. And again, they're, they're not a quick team. They do like to hold the ball and work uh, a controlled possession, it looks like to me. But here's a long drive and then a very ambitious wide shot that didn't trouble the goalkeeper at all. Um, so, yeah, that's about as much as they've got, I think. I don't think they're going to be able to get anything more from us from this game. One last attempt. Nope, there goes the final whistle. And it was a fairly comfortable 3-0 win. Um, I'm happy with uh, the amount of goals that we've got and another clean sheet, which is really positive. Not so happy that we didn't quite seem to follow through the tactical plan of working it more into the box. But, you know, maybe that will come. Decent possession stats, an amazing amount of shots. Not so many on target. And I think Higuain is, is partly the culprit for that. He didn't have a good game again. So something to keep an eye on with him. But... All in all, I'm pretty happy with that. So we'll come and we'll say, calmly, we'll say, well done. That was a good win for us. That's delighted them all, which is really encouraging. And then we come out and check out the table. And there you go. After seven matches for all the top teams, we find ourselves a couple of points clear of Juventus at the top of the table, which is really great at this point in the season. Hopefully we can really continue that sort of form. Um, and I think the, the next time we come back, um, let's go and check out who we've got as an opponent. So... Let's go in and have a look at our schedule. If I click on it right, there you go. So what's the next match going to be? I think the next match is going to be maybe Lazio. Um, I think they're sitting quite high up at the moment. Where are they? Yeah, they're in third at the moment. So we're going to play Lazio in our next game. I'll have played another couple of games in both competitions, the Euro Cup and Serie A between now and then. So that will bring us back and get us to see where we, uh, how we're going in both of those competitions by the time we come back. So I look forward to seeing you for Lazio in the next episode. If you're enjoying this series, why not subscribe to the channel? That helps you get up to date with all the videos if you enjoyed this episode why not click a like on it so that gets me seen by lots of other people which would help my channel to grow which is really encouraging for me um, but until next time if you're playing football manager yourself i hope you're having a great time do it let me know what your save is uh, what's happening in your save i'm always interested to hear other people's stories until next time though take care of yourselves i will see you soon and bye for now